Hello everybody, it is Jfrey back again with another video, and today we are going over the Artifacts mod. The Artifacts mod adds tons of equipable items that you can find in loot chests around your Minecraft world, and these range from items that can improve your combat, save your items, to even items that can just make you fart. This video will just go over what each of the items looks like when it's equipped and what they each do. But before we get started, please make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out more than you know, and you get to join our awesome community. Now let's get right into it. Before looking at any of the artifacts that this mod adds, there is one structure that it adds underground, which is the underground campground. These are pretty cool because they add little structures where you can gain some loot from them, like little chests like this, and there's also workbenches and other things down here, so if you're lucky, you might come across them. You also have to be careful near the campgrounds though, because some of the chests are fake and are actually mimics and will try and kill you when you get near them. But the good thing is if you're able to kill them, they will drop one of the random artifacts, so it's an easy way to get some of these. Now that we've gone over the structure that the Artifacts mod adds, we can start looking at some of the artifacts, starting with the Umbrella. The Umbrella is super useful because, as you can see, I am high up in the air right now, and if I wasn't holding the Umbrella, I just fall to my death. But, if I am holding the Umbrella, like a little Mary Poppins moment, let's go ahead and grab it, I just slowly fall down and don't take any damage, so it's a super useful artifact to find if you're lucky enough to get it. After taking all those falls, I sure am hungry, and that's where our next artifact, the Everlasting Beef, comes into play. The Everlasting Beef is super cool because you can keep on eating it and it will never disappear. You're also able to put it into any kind of furnace or smoker and turn it into eternal beef, and this acts as the same thing except it's steak so you get more hunger from it, and it's not consumed when you eat it. So let's go ahead and take a bite. Mmm, delicious, and it's still here! Anytime you eat the everlasting beef or the eternal steak though, there is a cooldown period on it, so you have to be strategic when you use it if you're in combat, or else you may lose it. Have you ever wanted to eat an entire stack of enchanted golden apples as quick as possible? Well, now you can with the plastic drinking hat. This is another artifact that you can find from the mimics or loot in Minecraft, and it's super cool because it decreases the amount of time that it takes to eat or drink items. So as you can see here, once you start eating something, it goes by super quickly. So I'll go ahead and take the hat off now and see how long it takes when compared to actually using the hat. Okay, so it about halves the time that it takes to eat or drink something. And there's also another version of it, which is the novelty drinking hat. And this one may look familiar to a few of you, and it makes you number one when you use it. If you're planning on going deep sea diving or want to explore an ocean monument, then our next artifact, the snorkel, is perfect for you. The snorkel is an awesome artifact because it basically works like an infinite water breathing potion. So let's go ahead and pop this bad boy on. Ooh, it looks pretty good on you. And then we can go ahead and get into the water. And as you can see, the bubbles for your air do not go down at all. So it's a super helpful artifact if you are able to find it. If you found yourself lost in a cave and have run out of torches and other things to light your way, then our next artifact, the night vision goggles, may be perfect for you. Once you slap these bad boys on, it gives you night vision indefinitely, so it's super helpful- oh, hi creeper. It's super helpful and allows you to see everything underground or when it's dark outside. Ooh, and some diamonds over here too. These night vision goggles are really helpful. While we were down in the caves with the night vision goggles, a super friendly villager decided to set up home here, so I gave him a nice lectern. And he's actually super nice because it'll help with our next artifact, which is... The Straw Hat. Now the Straw Hat is super nice because once you equip it, villagers will decrease their prices for you. So let's go ahead, let's go on and walk over here and see what the prices are right now. Okay, so he has 24 paper for an emerald. Oh, that's a little pricey. And 14 emeralds and a book for fire aspect too. Those both aren't the best deals. So let's go ahead and pop on our hat here. Oh, okay. Looks pretty nice. And let's see if he'll give us uh, any other deals. Oh my gosh, okay, so the paper goes down to 19 for an emerald, 
<laughs> and to get fire aspect, you only need one book? Is it just a book that you need for it? Or do you need... Okay, you need one emerald for it. Wow, instead of 14, that's still pretty good. Wow, I want to use this hat every day now. If you're feeling unlucky with your mob drops, then our next artifact, the Superstitious Hat, may be the thing for you. The Superstitious Hat adds one level of looting to any looting that you already have, so if you don't have any, then you just get one level, and if you have three, then it can increase that up to four. So let's go ahead, we're gonna try killing a few mobs, just to see what we get without the hat on. Okay, seems like a normal amount of drops from cows. Now let's go ahead and equip this guy. Ooh, it matches my skin. Okay, now let's go ahead and kill some more mobs and see if we get more stuff. Okay, that seemed on average. So you seem like you get a little more stuff with the superstitious hat on. That's pretty nice. If you're feeling a little chilly or wanting a little bit more luck, then look no further than our next artifact, the Lucky Scarf. This is a cool green wool scarf that when worn will increase your fortune level by one extra level. So if we look at these diamonds back here, if we go ahead and mine them, usually we would get six from them. But as you can see, every single time we mine, it's almost two diamonds. So from the six blocks, we got ten. So this one is another super useful artifact. Hello, cow. If you're looking for the lucky scarf, you may run into one that's slightly different, and that is the invisibility scarf. Now, the invisibility scarf does exactly what it says, and that is when you put it on, oh, you almost turn invisible, except for a nice light blue wool scarf. Huh. You can pretend you're a ghost wearing a fancy scarf to your friends. If you find yourself taking a lot of damage in Minecraft, then the next artifact might be for you, and that is the cross necklace. The cross necklace is super cool because when you take damage, it increases the amount of time that you're invincible after taking damage. So if there's a bunch of zombies attacking you or something, then you won't take damage a lot. So let's go ahead and throw this on. Ooh, okay. I like it. It's giving some good vibes. And if we go over to this um, non-suspicious fire over here, don't mind the flint and steel, I should take... Oh yeah, oh my gosh, that's a lot less damage. Okay, so it seems like this is a pretty good artifact to have. Another cool necklace that the Artifacts mod has is the Pain Necklace. The Pain Necklace is super cool because it looks like a cute heart necklace, and when you put it on, if you take any damage, then you'll speed up afterwards. So let's go ahead and walk over into our fire again. Okay, oh, the fire didn't last too long. I don't know if it's gonna keep going if I'm on fire. Three necklaces that are super similar. We have the Shock Necklace, and then the Flame Necklace, and last but not least, the Thorns Necklace. Now each of these does exactly what their necklace says they do. The Shock Necklace will shock attackers by sending down a lightning strike that you are immune to. The Fire One will sometimes catch your enemies on fire, and that fire won't affect you at all. And Thorns will just make it so that your attackers take damage when they attack you. So they're all super helpful if you end up finding any of them. Next up is a really unique artifact that you can also use underwater. This is the Charm of Sinking. The Charm of Sinking, when put on, basically allows you to walk underwater like you would on land. So let's go ahead and put on our snorkel as well so that we can breathe underwater. And then we're just gonna take a little, take a little dip in. And we're, we're walking on the bottom of the ocean. So this is pretty neat if you want to explore any structures down here. Or, you know, just want to take a little dip in the ocean. Sometimes it's fun to just be down here with all the, what is that, salmon and squid up there. Hmm. Fitting right in. The next artifact is a really cute one and honestly probably one of my favorites. And that is the cloud in a bottle. When you right click, it attaches to your belt. Look at that, there's a little cloud in a bottle. And this is really unique because it lets you double jump. Oh, and there's some cool particles that come out. So as you can see, I am in survival mode right now, and I get a nice little double jump whenever I press space twice. So let's go ahead. Oh, <gasps> nice! I can make it up here now. Wow, I feel so tall. Thanks, Cloud in a Bottle. And I also think you take reduced fall damage with it. So it's a double whammy. Oh, can't make it up there backwards. Our next charm is good for those that like exploring the nether, and that is the Obsidian Skull. Ooh, looks pretty cool. Now this thing is really cool because when you right click it, it also attaches to your belt. And when you go through fire, it makes you immune for a few seconds. So let's go ahead, go into survival again. Yep. 
and walk into the fire. Oh, okay. So it just gives you fire. Oh, wow, for 30 seconds, basically. That's pretty nice. So it gives you enough time to get away from the fire, and uh, I got a bucket of lava here. I guess we're going to test this out, too, see if it works. Okay, my golden apples have worn off, and we're right-clicking to put the charm back on. I guess let's take another dip and see if it works in lava. <gasps> oh, okay, so it does work in lava, so it's good for any kind of fire that you end up in. Okay, so my villager friend dropped off this nice looking, I guess, potion of fortune for me. It's pretty nice, but I don't know what it's gonna have to do with the next, uh, artifact, so I guess I'll drink it and see what happens. Oh, oh god, he's poisoned me for a minute and 30 seconds. Okay, well, I guess that's pretty useful because our next artifact is the antidote vessel. And once you equip this, like you see right here, it lowers it all the way down to 5 seconds. Wow, okay. That's a pretty nice artifact, but I'm mad at my, uh, villager friend over there for poisoning me. How could you do this to me? Our next artifact is a super cool magnet called the Universal Attractor. The Universal Attractor is really cool and actually really helpful right now, because my villager friend, uh, threw a few diamonds over my way, uh, I guess to make up for the fact he tried to poison me. But, uh, if I right-click with this, then you can see it attracts things to you from a further distance. So there's still some diamonds down here. And as you walk closer to them, it'll pick up everything within a certain range. It's pretty helpful, actually. Wow. He gave me a lot of diamonds. Thanks, guy. If you like having a lot of health in Minecraft, then this next artifact is simple and super nice for you. Because it is the heart crystal. Now, what happens when you have the heart crystal equipped, as I just did right now, it gives you 10 more hearts. So you have a little more damage that you can take, and it would be nice if I had some food so that I could heal those. But if you have food, then those will heal, and you'll have a little bit of extra health that you can get hit with. As you can see, we are back on our tower, and hopefully we won't be uh, falling to our death this time, because we should have another artifact that should save us, and that is the Helium Flamingo. Now the Helium Flamingo is really cool because what it does is when you're in survival mode, which, yep, let's make sure I am, uh, if you jump up into the air and hit your left control, then you should start swimming. So let's, uh, I guess try it. Hopefully we won't fall to our death. <gasps> is it? <gasps> oh my gosh, that's so cool. Look at me. Oh my god, I'm swimming through the air. This is so much fun. Oh no. Womp. Womp womp. Have you ever started a game of Minecraft and been like, hmm, I wish that I could dig stone with my hands. Well, with our next artifact, the Digging Claws, you can! So let's go ahead and equip this. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. I like it. Now let's go and find some stone to mine, I guess. We'll see if I can actually dig through stone with my bare hands. Is it gonna... <gasps> Ooh, okay, that's nice too. So you don't even have to have a pickaxe then for this. You can just mine with this. I wonder if it works on coal too. <gasps> oh, okay. This is actually pretty helpful. I would keep this in case my pickaxe breaks in a cave. After the digging claws, we have another set of claws that's pretty unique, and those are the feral claws. Ooh, they're a nice green color. It matches my skin. Now this is super cool because the feral claws will let you attack a lot faster. I think it's a 40% increase in speed. So let's go ahead over here and try attacking this cow and see what happens. Hello, sir. Sorry. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh no, don't run away, please. Okay, I think it's letting me attack faster. The sword on it is moving a lot faster. So that's a nice little artifact. Now this next artifact would have been helpful when I was testing out the feral claws on the cow, and this is the power glove. So let's go ahead and equip it. Ooh, okay. I got a nice, it almost looks like a rubber hand. Now this is super cool because it will increase your attack damage. I believe it increases it by four. So let's go ahead and try on another cow and see what happens. Oh, okay, wow, yeah, that does a lot more damage. That was only two hits compared to, like, the eight that I had to do with the Feral Glove. I like this one. Next up is another cool glove, and that is the Fire Gauntlet. Oh, okay, that looks awesome on your hand. Now this, you can pretty much guess what it will do, and when you hit an enemy with it, it'll light them on fire, so I feel bad for the cows. Maybe I should leave them alone. <gasps> Ooh, I'll go for this chicken over here. So if we punch it, then it should catch on fire. Let's see. Oh, hello, sir. Are you going to give me some meat? Oh, that's so nice. Thank you. Wow, that worked out really well. And I'm not, oh, well, I'm almost not hungry anymore. If you've ever wanted to wear a piston as a glove in Minecraft, 
then this artifact is perfect for you. This is the piston glove. So let's go ahead and equip it. Ooh, look at that. And it's not just fancy, it is also functional. So let's go ahead and hit a mob. This should have more knockback when you hit a mob, so... Oop. Okay, kind of flung him a little bit. How about you? You want to go for a little, uh, fly? <laughs> I like this one. This one's fun. When I was heading back up here, I took a few falls, and my health isn't looking the best, but our next artifact, the Vampiric Glove, should help with that. This glove is super cool because when you equip it and hit a mob, you'll absorb some of their health. So let's go ahead and find an unsuspecting victim that I can steal some health from. <gasps> Hello there. Don't mind if I just... Ooh, okay. That was a half a heart. That's pretty nice. I wonder if I can do it with the salmon out here. Hello? Can I steal some of your health? I don't think... I can't steal health from the salmon. What kind of glove is... Oh, okay, I just did. Okay, cool. So it just takes a lot for the salmon. That's good to know. Sometimes when I'm playing Minecraft, I wish that I could feel like Captain Hook and have a little hook for a hand. And luckily, the Artifacts mod has made my dream come true with the Golden Hook. Now I can't equip this yet because this has a cool effect of giving more XP when you kill monsters with it or just any creature. So I want to go ahead and find something to kill so that I can see how much XP it drops. So let's go for this cow down here. Let's see how much it drops. Okay, so almost half a level. So let's go ahead and add this snazzy looking glove to our hand, or this hook. Ooh, okay. And now, sorry cow, you gotta be another test subject. Oh, that didn't seem to do very much more. Let's try it on this guy. Boink. Okay, that gave us a full level. So, I so now that we've walked underwater, we can do the exact opposite and walk on water with our Aqua Dashers. When you put the Aqua Dashers on your feet, it allows you to sprint across water. So let's go ahead and go for it. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is so cool. I could just run to someone's house. Oh my gosh, I love this. And I think the sprinting keeps going as long as you don't stop. So if you start walking on the water, I don't think it'll work. Oh gosh, which is hard because I think I'm getting a little tired. So I gotta stop walking. Oh, yep. As soon as you stop sprinting, you fall underneath the water. And I think you have to go back on land before it actually works again. Yep, but then you can just go right back to it. I like this artifact. This one's pretty cool. After the Aqua Dashers, we have a cute pair of slippers called the Bunny Hoppers. Now the Bunny Hoppers go on your feet like little slippers. <gasps> okay, those are literally so cute. I love these. And these also give you a higher jump boost. Ooh, I like that. And it makes you immune to fall damage. So let's go ahead. I wonder what will happen if we grab our cloud in a bottle too. So let's put these both on. I wonder if both will work at the same time. So jump high. And then a second jump! Wow, okay, those work really well together. I like these. Wow, I jumped really high there. I think I might just wear these two forever now. Unfortunately, I had to take off my bunny hoppers, but it is for a worthy cause because our next artifact is the kitty slippers. So let's go ahead and pop these on. Oh my gosh, they look just like Minecraft cats. I love these. Now these are actually kind of helpful if you're in a cave or something because they will scare away creepers. So I got a good stack of creeper spawn eggs here. And let's walk a little bit away because I don't want a, a whole bunch of creepers where I spawn in. So uh, let's put them in this desert area right here and see if it actually works. Oh, hey guys, what's going on? What, do I got stinky breath or something? None of you want to be around me? I'll just spawn in more of you. Oh, none of you want to be my friends? How about if I take off my slippers? Oh, now all of you want to be my friends. Huh. At least they work well. After running from those creepers, I feel like going on another little jog, and that's where our running shoe artifact comes in. These are super cool because they look like the newest and hottest pair of sneakers you can get, but they also increase your run speed and I think how many blocks you can go up at once. So let's go ahead and run a little bit. Oh wow, I'm a lot faster. Yeah, so you don't even have to jump when you have these on, you just kind of uh, go up the block. You're like a horse. Hey guys, can you catch me now? I'm a little faster than I used to be. Oh, hello, please don't explode. I would not like to die again. Bye-bye. Have fun in the desert. 
Now that we're all geared up, we can go over and say hi to the creepers again, but we also have another artifact that will make it a little bit easier to stay close to them, and that is the Steadfast Spikes. When you equip the Steadfast Spikes, it eliminates knockback, so you won't take it anymore, so hopefully... When I run back over to the creepers, which I should have kept the running shoes for, when they explode, I won't be knocked back. So, hi guys. How's it going? I only see one of you now. Where'd all your friends go? They left you? It's okay, I'm here now. Oh, it took a little bit of knockback. Okay. That seems pretty helpful if you're fighting a bunch of, like, zombies or something. A little horde. After that, we have our last water-related artifact, and that is the flippers. Now the flippers are neat because they look super cool on your feet, it's like I'm about to go scuba diving, but they also let you have more agility in water, so if we jump in, we should go- oh yeah, we're going a lot faster. Wow, look at us go! It's almost like we have the dolphin effect on us right now. Okay, I like this, this one's pretty nice too. And. Our last artifact, which I had to turn my volume all the way up for, as you can hear the villager in the background, is the whoopee cushion. Now the whoopee cushion is really unique, because when you right click to put it on, it makes you fart. And you can keep right clicking to make more fart sounds. This can also be used in any slot of the body, so as you can see, I am filled with whoopee cushions right now. What a good last artifact. That is it for the Artifacts mod. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe, and also comment what your favorite artifact was. Mine is probably either the bunny slippers or the cloud in a bottle. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye